Hey, Doug Walker here doing my uh, quick thoughts on the Peanuts movie. Sadly, Rob couldn't see this one this week, and uh, I'm even getting to it a little late, but uh, a lot of people have been asking me to see it and what my thoughts on it are. So, uh, yeah, here we go. My um, first thing I should probably get across is what I think of Peanuts in general, the comic strip and the specials and everything. Uh, I like them a lot. I don't think they're, like, knee-slapping humor, but I don't think they're supposed to be. I think they're supposed to be... A lot slower pace, they're supposed to be a little bit more mellow and laid back. It's sort of that awkward, almost depressing element of childhood, but not quite. There's just enough happy stuff. It's kind of like that nice in-between. I really like that. You don't see that much in, uh, in kid shows or specials or anything like that. And I've seen a lot of them. I haven't seen all of them, but I've seen, uh, I've seen some of the movies, as in, like, you know, Snoopy Come Home and Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown. Obviously, I've seen the holiday specials and some others. So I really enjoy them. I like them a lot. Uh, so this movie comes along by uh, Blue Sky Studios, who I have not been a very big fan of uh, past years, um, but th they always look nice, you know, the movies always look very nice and they're bright and colorful, uh, I just never get into the humor or the stories or anything like that, they, they seem a little too desperate to me, so I was a little scared when I found out they were going to do a Peanuts movie, but then when I saw the trailer and I saw kind of the animation style, I went, okay, right, maybe this can work, maybe this can work. Uh, so this film comes out, I go in and I see it, and it's good. That, that's, if you watch just the Cliff No Fast version, it's good. Um, I don't think it's great, but with that said, I will say that there's, there's kind of this thought that all the Peanuts specials, like anything associated with the Peanuts, like, is either anywhere from phenomenal to, at the very worst, okay. There's been some bad ones. Uh, I just started watching a couple of them. You know, we uh, we bought the Halloween, um, what you call it, the Halloween special on Amazon, and they had a few other specials with it. So you know, my my wife and I were there. Let's watch a couple of these, and I was going through a few of them, and some of them are just really so good. I mean, just freaking beautiful. And then others, they could be really lame. Uh, there's one that was especially lame called something along the lines of it's magic charlie brown and the whole episode like charlie brown gets turned invisible and he's trying to figure out how to not be invisible anymore yeah pretty stupid <laughs> it's like really really stupid so this idea that the peanuts can do no wrong and that there's no bad specials that that's false but we know what the peanut specials are supposed to be. We look at the Halloween one and the Christmas one, uh, some of these movies, and we say, okay, well, we get the idea what they're supposed to be like. Um, so this movie, to its credit, really tries to get it. And a lot of the times, it, it succeeds. Um, they definitely have kind of the... It, it's CG, but it, it's a good mix of kind of this... I don't want to say sloppy, intentionally choppy animation uh, that's very much like the hand-drawn animation that, that was very, very low budget. Uh, but it's very stylized, and they sort of mix it with some hand-drawn stuff in there as well. Anytime someone's, like, thinking of something or, you know, just imagining something, usually it's hand-drawn, uh, and they try to make it look like the specials. So it, it, that was really cool. Um... And the littlest details that I was really impressed they picked up on, uh, like whenever Snoopy's flying as the Red Baron, you know, he's on top of the house, he has the flying goggles on everything, and he's shooting up and stuff like that. Even as far as they go to make this animation look really good, and he's soaring through the sky and all over France and stuff like that, they never show the bottom of the house. That is a good detail to pick up and they shoot this from all sorts of angles but no matter what you never see the bottom of the doghouse as very very clever and it's that kind of dedication that makes it you know a, a little better than just oh, okay this was a cheap cash in uh but it isn't just that the the strongest thing in this movie is actually the writing the writing really feels like classic traditional peanuts um it's a little slower pace there's no bad guy there's no one big problem there's no huge adventure they go on it's just charlie brown kind of living his life uh you see the little redhead girl come in and he wants to impress her yeah he, he wants to get up the nerve just to go talk to her 
and it's all the funny little circumstances that happen around that. Like, that's it. And I love movies that can take something just that simple and be like, you know what? That's enough. We don't need to go super crazy. I remember this was one episode, or not episode, it was a movie. Um, it was something like Run For Your Life, Charlie Brown, or something like that, where he enters like a rafting competition. And they got the big bad bullies who every single turn they try to sabotage them. And it's like, I hate that shit. And they don't do that here. Uh, they just show a little bit of Charlie Brown's life. They sort of show him from like, you know, the beginning of winter to the end of summer. You know, and that's it. Um, and, and that's great. And I'm... This movie could have been so much worse. It could have been so bad. Uh, just seeing what they've done with, like, the Lorax and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it was Blue Sky, right? Um, if not... No, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't. That was the uh, the Despicable Me people. I'm so sorry. Uh, but Blue Sky hasn't done that <laughs> that much great stuff. Uh, but, but that's my point. They could have taken this a really bad direction and updated it too much. But it was a good mix. It's still CG animation, but the CG looks really nice. The colors are really pleasant. The minute it opens up on this winter background, uh, you know, the snow is falling, but it's like a blue, blue sky, which you don't see much in movies. And then for good reason, you don't see it much in real life. But it looks really nice. Um, but they still have kind of the hand-drawn eyes and mouths and stuff like that. So, uh, so that's all great. The one problem... I have with this movie, uh, and it, it's not a nitpick, but it's, it, it, it's not, it doesn't ruin anything, but, but I think it is a problem, it sort of stops this from being, like, really great, is, uh, the, the slapstick's a little too much. This is one of the few times where I actually thought to myself, I wish this movie was slower. I, it's so rare that I say that, you know, a lot of times it's like, oh, the fast pace is wonderful, and it just gets to the meat of the subject really quick, but Peanuts was kind of about these little moments, these little slow, awkward moments, and it's not that they never captured that, it's that they constantly want to show a lot of the stuff that usually just belong to Snoopy. And whenever Snoopy's on screen, he's jumping around, he's dancing, he's doing slapstick, he's doing all this crazy stuff, as Snoopy should. Uh, but all the characters are kind of doing that, and I'm thinking to myself, that's not needed. What, what made Peanuts so funny in their slapstick is that it was usually slower, and it was usually a little bit more laid back, so that when the really silly physical stuff happened, it got a bigger laugh. Like, there's a lot of scenes in here where I was saying to myself, you know, if they played that a little slower, I would have laughed a little more. Um, but instead it's just like, oh, that's just one physical joke on top of 20 others they're throwing at you. So that was a little bit of a problem, and I think the pace in general was a hint too fast. There's a lot of scenes that feel like Schultz comic strips. I found out, I, I figured out how they can say by Schultz, because I'm like, isn't he dead? It, it's the family members uh, that are continuing it, that, that wrote it. So that's very clever. Uh, but they capture the voice very well, and it's something where... you. It's not quite like, you know, Run For Your Life, Charlie Brown, or, um, you know, Come Home Snoopy, or something like that, where they have to tell a completely new story that holds on its own. It's the Peanuts movie, and it's a new kind of animation, and it's a, a somewhat different style, not much, but they, they want to recapture the feel of the Peanuts in the Peanuts movie. You want to look at this and say, oh, that was the Peanuts, that's what they're all about, that's what they do. So you have to sort of do this all-encompassing feature that for the most part succeeds it, it gets the uh it gets a lot of the uh the sort of the awkwardness it gets the charm it gets the color it gets the artistic look of it um it gets the simplicity uh the only thing i say it's missing a little bit of not that it's totally devoid of it uh it could have used a little bit more weight a little bit more of the heavy moments um which is tough to do for peanuts because peanuts is not hit you on the head obvious. I know a lot of people think it is. You look at, like, the Christmas special. It's like, well, you can't get more obvious than that. But there is just sort of this unspoken strangeness and this atmosphere when you watch a lot of the specials and you realize, like, yeah, it's not... Not everything's just spelled out. I mean, this is a kid who's, like... He's likable and he's, you know... And you want him to succeed, but he will never succeed. That's always the running joke. 
And that's really a downer, because there's really nothing wrong with this kid. It's like the universe has just conspired against this one boy, and that's really a downer idea for something that's supposed to be, you know, so simplistic and upbeat and innocent. Uh, so it's tough, and you, you could make a little bit of the argument that the ending's a little bit of a cop-out. I'm... I'm on the fence about it because my thought is, like, if you want to see a special or a movie or whatever where bad stuff still happens to Charlie Brown, you have tons. <laughs> There's a lot of them. If you want one where just, hey, things finally kind of go his way, finally, he gets kind of the happy ending, this is one to watch. Although, even then, if you watch the credits, you know, some things still don't go his way. So, it's it's a good enough balance for me. But, yeah, I think some people will be a little pissed off that, like, they... That the ending almost seems a little too happy. I don't think I'm giving anything away by saying there's, you know, kind of a happy ending. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a kid's film. Uh, but, yeah, it might be a little too happy. And I also really want to say thank you for making this a G movie. Friggin' everything nowadays is like the lowest rating you can have as a PG. You know, this used to happen in the 90s all the time where just like, oh, well, we can't make it a G because that means it'd be crap. Only Disney can do that and that's it. Everything else is crap. But then Pixar came along and started to make G films that were really good and people didn't care about the ratings. It's like, oh, let's go. But now Pixar is making them PG. And I'm trying to think in these films, like, what, what was even worth the PG rating in them? Like, I can't think of anything in, in Inside Out or anything like that. But they they got to put it in because it's like, oh, the, they'll think G is, you know, too safe or, or not funny or not risque or edgy, you know, and that's that's a shame. Um, so I'm glad this movie did well and it, it kept the G rating. It didn't friggin' go Dr. Seuss and be like, oh, well, the, these always have to be PG because it's Dr. Seuss. We always need parental guidance when it comes to Seuss. So I'm glad they said it's Peanuts. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it nice. We're going to keep it for kids, but adults can watch it, too. Uh, so, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I think the, like I said, the only thing it could use more of, it could have been a little slower, and I think it could have used a little bit more weight to it. Um, I still think something like Snoopy Comes Home is, you know, Snoopy Comes Home is a lot heavier. Uh, you know, I mean, there's legitimately sad, sad moments in there. Uh, where this is kept a lot more upbeat... But there's still the traditional stuff you want to see. You kind of want to see Charlie Brown have bad things happen to him. You kind of want to see stuff not go his way. Um, but not to an abusive point. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I liked it. I, I, I didn't love it necessarily, but I thought for a, a CG adaptation of Charlie Brown, it, this is pretty well done. Um... And, yeah, I think that's about it. I think you can get an idea whether you would enjoy it or not and how much of the spirit of the peanuts it captures and, you know, if that's your thing or not. So, uh, that's about it, and I will see you around later.